Hello and welcome back to News from Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh, and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. APC National Chairman Ganduji sends strong message to sacked Kano Governor following the judgment of the Kano State Governorship Election Petition Tribunal. The National Chairman of the Ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, Abdullahi Ganduji, has appealed to the people of the state to remain peaceful. Reacting to Wednesday's September 20 judgment, which affirmed Nasiru Yusuf Gawuna of the APC as validly elected governor of the state, Ganduji, who spoke with newsmen in his Abuja residence, urged the people of Kano State to remain calm, assuring them that businesses will flourish again. We call that the ABC has challenged the declaration of Governor Abba Kabil Yusuf of a new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, as the winner of a March 18, 2023 governorship election. Ganduji, who was flanked by Gawuna and a former governor of the state, Senator Kabil Gaya, also expressed confidence that people will now be free to go about their businesses without fear of intimidation. Also reacting, Gawuna, the APC candidate, are judged to have won the election of by the tribunal, promised to continue the legacy of a media pass administration of Ganduje, where he served as deputy governor. He equally appealed to the people to go after their works and businesses peacefully, declaring the judgment as the will of Allah. Imagine now that, you know, this man, just after a week of him being announced the winner by INEC, he started demolishing houses, he started demolishing structures, the, the structures that were, were erected with billions and millions of naira, just in the all in the name of you know vindication. You want to be vindictive. You 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 are busy destroying people's properties, busy destroying even government properties just because those are the structures that the previous government put in place. But he did not think he did not think it through. He did not think about it well. These structures, is it for the betterment of a state or not? He started, you know, pulling them down because these structures were put up by the previous administration. Now see, now see, the tribunal has declared that he is not the legitimate winner of the election. What is he going to do if he, uh, Panaventure, if eventually he gets removed? He's going to leave there. Even if he doesn't get removed, it's just limited to four years, maximum eight years, you leave the office. Now look at it. He has even lost the sympathy of the people because of everything he has done since, you know, he assumed office. Intimidations here and there from boys of a red cap within the states because they feel that now they are in power, they can do and undo. You know, what does the Bible say? Pride, is it pride before a uh, Price begin a fall or something. Please quote the correct one in the comment section below. Before we go, guys, let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online. Ali Sadiq says, What happened is just so people or politicians will now try to win election by just, but now, by just, but now, how can someone win election by putting on stamped ballot papers and yet to claim 
there is injustice for the verdict. Another person by the name Ismaila Ibrahim says, We hope that peaceful living in the state, that is peaceful exit of uh, the state government by Yusuf. Abubakar Sabo says, Don't worry, Ganduji, all these things one day will become history if you think you got political power to enforce candle people you are only setting a bad record for yourself adam wazan abdullahi says god will judge the judges on the day of judgment for injustice judgment another person by the name igwe romanus says injustice to one is injustice to all we all are getting a taste of it until we stop supporting injustice we will always bounce back on us another person by the name usman omar says nigeria is on the fall because shameless people are leading us both ganduji and tinobu are beneficiaries of corruption and stolen mandates prince teddy says a politician is now the nigerian president unlike buhari lastly muhammad mika says looters are doing their evil works those who ate kano may allah shame them abba has come to stay isha allah obviously this person is a, is a supporter of the incumbent governor another person by the name Sulaiman Omar says we cannot accept the selfishness or in Kano states the enemies of Kano people are behind the scenes may Allah protect us from the enemies of Kanawa Umwo K wisdom says we can't accept the zoom verdict delivered by the corrupt tribunal why did they not deliver it at the court auditorium like i said in my previous video i feel that these people are afraid for their lives <laughs> they know that if they dare uh, pronounce this verdict in the courtroom they might be get attacked like people might attack them they might you know how people do in the north they might get burnt alive they might get you know anything can happen that was why they just, you know, quietly and gently announced on Zoom and disappeared from that, from there. I'm very sure of that. Yusuf Sani says, Tyrants have now reclaimed Kano State through judicial, judi judicial manipulation. Court, thank you for eating Kano people. Thank you, you all, for always listening and watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.